Good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Monday, the fourth day of March 2024. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I bless you prophetically. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 26, the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 26, reading from New Living Translation, it reads, On the fourth day they gathered in the valley of blessing, which got its name that day, because the people praised and thanked the Lord there. It is still called the valley of blessing today. I want to pray for somebody today that there shall be a gathering of goodness in your life. People will gather together today to celebrate you and to celebrate goodness in your family in the name of Jesus Christ. As somebody hearing me this morning, you have always been following and joining others to rejoice and to praise God. You have gone with several people to different places for thanksgiving. I'm glad to announce to you that your own season has come. Your season of thanksgiving has come. People will gather together to rejoice with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see a lot of people today smiling and rejoicing because of the good things that are coming. There shall be gathering of great men and women in your abode to felicitate with you and to rejoice with you. What enemies meant for evil, God will turn them around in the name of jesus christ i don't know what is the doctor's report i don't know what doctors may have told you and my wife were listening to a testimony of a sister very recently who got pregnant who waited for 25 years after marriage and she got pregnant at the age of 52 and delivered the baby at 53 what god cannot do does not exist i don't know how old you are i don't know what is the medical report but god's own report is that it is not yet over for you it is not over for you you will still carry your baby you will still settle down maritally you will finish that program you will finish that project you will rejoice you will excel you will get to the top you will get to the pinnacle of your career in jesus name the Bible said the people gathered together. They gathered in the valley of blessing. And that day, the people praised and thanked the Lord. On your behalf, people will congregate to rejoice and thank the Lord in Jesus' name. Today is Monday. Every one of us, I prophesy that as you step out today, the Lord will take over your going out and your coming in. You will not dash your foot against the stones of the enemy. As you go out in peace, you will return in peace. The enemy will not have power or anything to say over your life. In Jesus' name, everyone that will be traveling today, God will bless your journey. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout, Amen. I believe as I receive. In our Bible reading today, this Monday, we are in the book of Psalms. We started reading the book of Psalms on Saturday. Saturday, we read five chapters from chapter 1 to 5. Yesterday being Sunday, we read five chapters from chapter 6 to 10. Today, we are reading another five chapters. Today, we are reading some chapters 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. The book of Psalms, chapters 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Five chapters. Please read them. They're not too lengthy, not too voluminous, not too long. The Lord will bless you. In our daily devotional today, daily communion with God, the heavenly meal served by God for us to feast today is titled God's True Love. God's True Love. Check your book on page 72, fourth day of March. The topic is God's True Love. You can get it on our mobile application. You can go to our website and download it. You can just get along. The Lord bless you as you read in Jesus' name. Now, today be Monday. Let's hear the word of God. Let's look at the world together. I want to title today's message on what I call beware of what you say. Beware of the words of your mouth, especially this season and this period that too many people are crying. A lot of people are using the words of their mouth to scatter their prayer, so to say. A lot of people are praying, but after prayer, what next? When you finish praying, some of the utterances you make again invalidate or 
disrupt the prayers you have prayed in the book of matthew matthew chapter 12 verse 37 the book of matthew chapter 12 and verse 37 the lord jesus speaking he said for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned meaning what by the word you speak you can be justified and also by the word you speak you can be condemned a lot of people are asking so many questions today Oh, somebody say, Pastor Eniola, can we ever survive this economy? My answer is yes. We have seen terrible things more than this in the past. And God saw us through God help us to overcome. I believe we will overcome this season again. We will overcome this period. We will get over this season. Just be mindful of what you say. Others may be crying. Others may be saying negative things. But you don't join them to say it. Because by the word of your mouth, you will be justified. And also by the word of your mouth, you will be condemned. If you speak negative things in time like this, no matter who is praying for you, if all that fill your mouth, all the utterances, the statements of your mouth, how things are not going to work, how things are bad, how this and this are happening, it is whatever the man speaks, that is what is going to happen. But if you see positivity out of nothing, you are going to get along. You are going to get along. My word for you this Monday is beware and be careful of what you say. The Bible says, it says, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let somebody who is down say, I am lifted. Because as you speak it, so it will be. God said to the children of Israel, he said to Moses, tell the children of Israel that as I hear them say, as I hear them say in my hearing, that is exactly what I'm going to do. When the Lord told them, when the Lord sent to Moses, he told Moses, said, send out some spies to go and check the land where I am taking you to. It is a land that is filled with milk and honey. The people went there quite all right. They came back and they brought reports out of 12 people. 10 of them brought negative report. They say, yes, we have gone to search the land. It's a very big land. It's a land that is fruitful and fertile. But we are not sure we can get over the land because we saw giants. We saw the sons of anarchy. We saw terrible things. And we were like grasshopper in their sight. The people wearing the one who called them grasshoppers. But they saw themselves as grasshoppers and God said to Moses because these people did not believe because of what they've altered since they said they cannot go then they will not get there only Joshua and Caleb that confessed positive Caleb said no don't say that brothers let's go and get the land we are able to go up and possess the land in times like these, what are you confessing with your mouth? I put it to you and I challenge you. Stop speaking negative words. Stop speaking evil words, even to the government. Oh, somebody may say, Pastor Enola, have they given you anything? Not at all. But I am speaking as a prophet of God. Stop speaking evil to yourself. Stop speaking evil to the government. Stop speaking evil to the economy. It has always been like this, that when a government is gone and another one is on throne, it has always been like this, that people say, oh, the former government is even better than this. And by the time the one that is in power today finish and get out, people will say, oh, we were enjoying yesterday. So you just look up to heaven, look up to heaven and your needs. He knows how it's going to meet your needs. Your needs are not going to be met by the government. I have known this many years ago, that it it is, I'm not on salary. I am not on any government payroll. So how will I depend on government? I depend on the government of heaven. So that is why you can never hear me speak evil or of dignitaries or speak evil of whatever is happening. Because I know my provision, my sustenance is not coming from them. So I put it to you this morning. Stop using your mouth to destroy your prayers. Stop using your mouth to destroy your state. Stop using your mouth to pull down the country. Speak good things. Utter good things from your mouth. And as you speak it, so it will happen. Jesus said, be careful of what you say. That is Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. Say, for by the word of your mouth, you'll be justified. And by the same word of your mouth, negatively, 
you'll be condemned. I don't want to be condemned. And so I believe that you also, you don't want to be condemned. So learn how to speak good things. Are you not married? Or oh, maybe as a parent, you have been trusting and believing God for marital settlement for your son or your daughter. Start speaking positive to their, to their life. Are you believing God for fruit of the womb as a couple? Open your mouth in the morning. Call yourself sweet name. Start naming your children even before they come. And as you speak positively, so it will happen. I pray for you this morning that from today, negative words will not come out of your mouth again. All that you are going to be saying will be positive. And as you confess positive, so positive things will happen in your life. In Jesus' name. Remember to read your Bible today. The book of Psalm chapters 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 five chapters from chapters 11 to 15 they will meet again tomorrow remain blessed remain lifted and remain rapturable in jesus name please today is the healing and breakthrough service in the city of Lokoja by 9 a.m so i am inviting you to come and be part of the service today 9 a.m for those of you who may not be able to be part of it we're going to show it live on our youtube account that is reverend mike and your lab you will get the notification you can join us anything from half past nine nigerian time this morning just come online you will see us there you participate whatever we are doing you also you will join us to do and you will share testimony god bless you have a lovely day amen